Sup guys, how we doing? Welcome back to yet another video. Today we look at number 38 on the list of the top 100 NFL players in 2023, Khalil Mack. When I think of Khalil Mack, he comes to mind as a Chicago Bear. Would that be would that be right? And then he went to the Rams. Was it the Rams? And now he's listed as a, as a Charger. I, I I don't I I can't completely recall. But look, what I do know is that Khalil Mack is a beast among beasts. Okay, ridiculous, ridiculous strength, ridiculous tenacity, uh, a linebacker for the ages. And uh, with all that in mind, let's look at his stats, let's watch his video, and then let's do the most exciting part of all for me and place him on a theoretical rugby team. Let's go. Khalil Delshon Mack is a linebacker, born on February 22nd, 1991, he's 32 years of age, 6 foot 3, 270 pounds, played college football at Buffalo from 2009 to 2013, got picked up in the first round of the 2014 draft with pick number 5, played at the Raiders from 14 to 17, then went to the Bears from 18 to 21, didn't go to the Rams, but did go to the Chargers from 2022 onwards. Feel like the guy that I'm thinking of when it comes to changing teams to the Rams is actually, well, clearly not Khalil Mack, but it's, um, all right, I'm not going to spend too much time on that. We have no time to lose, guys. We've got no time to lose. Okay, here he is, 134 total games. Let's let's talk about last season, 2022. First season at the Chargers, 17 games played, 17 games started, 50 combined tackles, 33, 50 combined tackles, that's, that's, I don't know, it's a little bit lower than what I'd expect. Uh, 33 solo, 17 assisted, 8 sacks, bringing his career total to 84 and a half, 12 tackles for loss, 2 forced fumbles, 2 fumble recoveries, and 2 passes deflected. So he has numbers, he's got stats in a lot of uh, columns there, he's played 134 total games, he's been to the postseason 4 times, with three different teams, including one game for the Chargers last year. Uh, he got one sack, and uh, unfortunately, I assume they lost. I can't remember. I honestly can't. <laughs> it's, been, it's been a minute. I always take a bit of a break in the off-season, kind of reset myself, refresh myself. And what that means is that any knowledge of the previous season kind of goes up in smoke, in the literal sense. Don't at me for it. Either way, we continue. The guy is 270 pounds, 6 foot 3, playing linebacker. <sighs> It's hard enough for a running back to get through the line, but when you got linebackers on the other side, such as Khalil Mack, just waiting, waiting, licking their lips, hungry. I mean, he reminds me of a bear, plays like a bear. Let's get into it. 49ers first and 10 from their own 34. Get a roll right. Actually, I, I forgot to look at his speed. My mistake. 4.65 for the 40 yard dash. 40, inch, 40 inches on the vertical jump, 10 for 8 on the broad jump, 23 reps on the bench. And look at him in 2013, just killing it. <laughs> Absolute beast. He won the NFL Defensive Player of the Year in 2016. All right, guys, that's enough of that. Right into Khalil Mack. He picks up Garoppolo, throws him down. I mean, this guy is just so powerful. Boy, Khalil Mack is shredded. Jesus Christ. And to hear a guy like Nick Bosa, who is, you know, relatively shredded at 6'5 and, and, you know, 270, they're kind of pretty much the same body type, really. That means something. Stud. Uh, stud. Uh. I'm very surprised he didn't make the list last year. Look, he had a few games off, but he still played seven. Still played seven games. His numbers were well down, but he'd done enough in previous seasons, surely, to solidify himself with the spot. I don't know if I like that. Um, where, how, do you want, how do you want to be beat? You know, do you want strength? Do you want speed? Do you want some dynamic move on the outside where he's spinning and coming back? Also, send as many blockers at him as you want. I saw that several times in my time with him in Chicago. Khalil Mack beat the backside protectors, jumped over oh, the top man. of him. Oh, man. Oh, mate, what a play. Cuts back on the inside, swipes past one, just uses brute force, brute strength, and leverage to get past the second, doesn't give up on the play, gets to the quarterback, gets him down. That must have been the year before, though. Just rushed the quarterback by Khalil Mack. It's just a good example of what he can do. I'm winning my rushes. You're literally getting there a second before me. Look at his arms, bro. Much love hey, and love, much respect. Hey, love, love. But damn! In 2022... He's just laughing at how easy it was on that particular night. Two. Former Bear and Raider Khalil Mack made an immediate impact with his new team. And he's going to be dropped again. 
Khalil Mack with a sack. His second of the game. Fourth down and eight. Mack two minutes with to go. the sack. Carr climbs the pocket, hit, grab, and he has dropped. The ball is up, and the Chargers have it. How close is he to that elusive 100 career sack mark? 84 and a half. Will he have a career defining season and get 15 and a half sacks at age 32? Only time will tell, but he's certainly in with a shot. It was a Khalil Mack strip sack. Oh, it's just, it's, it's just. immense immense pressure yes it's slowed down but it's the only way we're ever going to see a, a legitimate insight into the battles that this that, that these guys do you know these 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 guys that get employed to to protect the quarterback against guys that get employed to hit the quarterback it's a battle for the ages every single time but guys this is how we end every single game three sacks one pressure three sacks they're every play Khalil Mack yeah He's a special player. He's been doing it for a long time. And he's just got a low center of gravity. He's like, oh, oh, shit. Oh, fuck. Okay. All right. I know we're focusing on Khalil Mack. But he, get a load of this guy. Get a load of this guy. What? Oh, man. Okay. As a guy who's been in, you know, a fair few rugby changing rooms, there ain't nobody on a rugby team that takes their top off and looks like that. These athletes are the best of the best. They're the freaks, freaks of nature, and they get paid like it. Pitbull out there, and he. Just you know, back in the day, hundred years ago, it used to be the circus would hold the freaks of nature. Whether you were the fattest man in the world, whether you were the tallest man in the world, or the strongest man in the world, you went to the circus to see the freaks of nature. Today, all you got to do is buy a ticket to a game. He just got that dog to him where. When he really is like, all right, I need to make a play, he's going to forklift somebody off their feet and go make a play. He just ran right over number 76, Anderson. Holy cow, what a play by Khalil Mack. You saw Braden Smith just get absolutely dump trucked by Khalil Mack on that one. Damn, bro. This is the best power rusher in the league right now with Khalil Mack. There is always and guess what? Khalil Mack's not the only one. Whoever that number eight is, he's right behind him. He's been more to Mack than just rushing the passer. Khalil. He could have waited half a second and gave him half a sack. A big, big, powerful guy on the edge who, who can shorten the edge real quick for a guy. Set the edge in the run. They give it to Hunt. And oh, he was almost gone. A great tackle by Khalil Mack. Damn, that was a good tackle by Khalil, bro. I thought I was out there. Look at the athletic ability of Mac on the edge. He's able to jump outside just nice when patience. Is able to break. Beautiful patience shown. Knows he doesn't need to engage until the running back makes 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 the uh, the final decision. But once he does, it's all over. For Mac, sometimes simply getting the ball carrier isn't enough. <laughs> Get the ball! Get the ball! Out left sideline, London. And that ball is ripped out of his hands! Chargers have it! Khalil Mack! Why knock it on the ground when you just take it from him? Okay. Straight ripped it out of his hands and started running. Okay. Khalil Mack is a game wrecker. NFL Defensive Player of the Year back in 2016. You understand why he is such a valuable player for the Chargers defense. Look at him. Just a, a big a big old teddy bear out there, isn't he? If you're on his team, that is. Okay, guys, now comes the fun part. Being that he does run a 465 40 yard dash, six foot three and you know, 270 pounds. 40 inch vertical. I feel like if he was just three inches taller, he would have been an NBA player. It would have been Zion Williamson before Zion Williamson made it out of sixth grade. But he chose football, and thank God he did. Alright, so um he's got enough speed to play in the backs, although I feel like I feel like he'd be he'd be best utilized as a flanker. I feel like at the side of the scrum, a bit of a hybrid uh, into absolutely everything with just as much ability on the offensive side of the ball as the defensive side of the ball. I mean, we did see we did see him get that strip and run down the sideline. Uh, so he's you know he he's not afraid to run the ball. I feel like if he did suit up at flanker, um, you know he'd he'd add some real mass to the scrum. He'd add a big body who's willing to put in the hits necessary around the scrum, around the ruck. But he'd also, he'd line up 
and be able to take the ball as as a running option uh, more so than if he was playing something like a, a prop or whatever. I could quite easily place him in a position like a second five or a, a, a center, but for this for this particular series, I feel like we've had minimal flankers. We've had plenty of number eights. He could definitely play number eight. He could play center, but in this case, because we do need flankers, um, I'm going to put him in at flanker. So just call him the second coming of Richie McCaw. <laughs> you know, with a flanker and with a game of rugby, you've got to make the tackle, but then you've got to get up and actually wrestle over the ball to try and secure that ball. And I think Khalil Mack would just be incredible at that, at securing the ball, putting in the tackle, putting in the big hit, enforcing the tackle, pushing the attacker backwards, getting his team on the front foot and then forcing turnovers. You, you tell me. Cheers, guys. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.